What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Uh, today, we want to start the day by highlighting something extremely special. Um, they broadcasted this locally, but let's share this to America and the world that truck drivers are just exceptional people. And besides uh, moving America, we love on people. And I thought this story right here was so remarkable. I've had over 100 truck drivers send me links to this and ask me to talk about this. And today, let's start it off with a positive note. So let's get into this right here. Um, the situation is a sad one, but the community that got together, the 300 truck drivers that shut down their businesses for the day so that they could show love to this family and it's just, it's just, it's a tearjerker, people. That's all I got to say about that. Um, let's check this out right here. Let me read this to you, and then I will show the video of this right here. But basically, it says, uh, hashtag light it up for Blaze. Calling all trucks. Your outreach and support have been amazing. I'm asking one more thing of the trucking community. On Saturday, January 14th, we will be doing a convoy for my son from the church in Lake City, Minnesota. And he will be riding in the back of his truck for the last time. Any bobtails that want to join, please get a hold of Eric Madison. He's running point on the trucks for me. Thank you again. You know. Marie, all I have to say is just, you know, bless your heart. And, you know, it, it was just so amazing to see the outcome of this. And I just want to show a little bit of this. Um, the situation before, because I know there's going to be questions about this, is there was a GoFundMe for this, but it said, Blaze was a fun and loving 12-year-old boy. He adored his mom and papa. Blaze had a love for semi-trucks. He could tell you everything about them. He wanted to be a truck driver like his papa. He was very creative and could make anything out of string, wood, and duct tape. He loved to go fishing with his family and friends. Blaze had a love for hunting. He couldn't wait to get that big buck. Blaze had a cat named Groot who was his buddy. Blaze also had a fun-loving guinea pig named Trader. Blaze would go for golf cart rides and running around with his cousins. On January 8th, Blaze was in a snowmobile accident that took his life. You know, so that was the situation there. But let me let me just show you how wonderful this community is right here. And you will see that it is just so beautiful. Let me play this for you guys was killed last Sunday in a snowmobile, snowmobile crash in Tileman. Blaze loves semi-trucks and today more than 300 truck drivers from all over the Midwest showed up in a convoy to honor him today at his funeral at First Lutheran Church in Lakes. And five, six of us to get together and then it went overboard and the whole country knows about it now and that's what we wanted and more trucks the merrier. So. <laughs> from all over have also been posting their support online with the hashtag light it up for blaze just just wonderful to see people get, get together and just do something amazing and so to all the truck drivers that went out there to support I just thought that was incredible. You know, definitely share this story out, share this link out. And yeah, just super sad situation. But it's just always amazing to see that truck drivers, we always got your back. So I thought that was awesome. Mother truckers, comment down below.